Hi, this is Matt from AppWorks, and I'm here to show you a new feature in FileMaker Pro 19.1 that just came out, which is the new add-on feature. And today that we're going to be looking at a specific add-on, which is the calendar heat map. So let's see how this works. So in FileMaker, we've had this ability to do a web viewer for a really long time, and we can just draw one out here on the layout. And for example, the default one shows you um, using Google data, uh, using an address, and it grabs data from your database. A new checkbox came with 19.0 is this allow JavaScript to perform FileMaker scripts, which allows uh, also JavaScript to be directly interpreted inside the web viewer, which is great. Um, so FileMaker and Claris have taken advantage of that um, with these new add-ons, which are pretty cool. So we're going to take a look at this one, which is the heat map. So I'll just click on new add-on and then add the heat map, and then it's now in this database file. I'll drag it out to my layout, and you can see what comes out as a widget that has a web viewer and also um, a selector to, uh, to switch data. So this shows me three months of data, and I don't really see anything on there yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to one of the other layouts that comes along for the ride. So when you add an add-on, um, what FileMaker does is it not only um, creates the little widget on your layout, but it also adds tables, and it can have any number of tables, and it can also add data. So in this case, there's some sample data, but there's only 22 records in it. So I'm going to go to the heat map sample data table. I'm just going to delete everything that's in here, and I'm going to import some other data that I have ready so we can see how this works a little bit more uh, realistically. So I have a file called sample data that I'm going to import, and this has uh, a couple hundred records, 156. And I'll match everything up, and I'm not going to perform auto enter. I'll keep my same keys. So now my data is there. So if I go back to that same demo screen, now when I look at my data, I can see um, which days are really light and which days are really busy. So I can just click on a day, and it pops up the events for that day. And here's the day with five events, so there's quite a bit of stuff going on. In my sample data, all the events are the exact same uh, text because I wanted to see the, the graphics. And then you can also uh, use these buttons here to go from day to day. Notice how it's, it's really actually very pleasing how it pops the data in uh, like a fraction of a second apart, um, first September, then October, then November. I really like that a lot. Um, this one works really nicely with another video that we made, um, which is the add-on feature for just a regular calendar, which gives you a day view, a week view, and a month view. So you can take a look at that video separate from this one. And with a little work, you, could, you can connect the two tables, the two add-ons to the same data table by using this configure feature. So in here, you would just choose um, what the layout is that contains your sample data, and then what your event date, uh, what the date field is. It just really takes a look at that. It has some filter fields um, and some settings and for how it's showing the data, like what's the first day of the week and what's the uh, type of thing I want to see. So I could say like a heat circle or something like that to see what the changes will look like. I'll save my changes, and then I'll see now it looks more, uh, the color scheme has changed. So that is the new add-on in FileMaker Pro 19.1 for calendar heat map data. Thanks for your time.